lovely people, welcome back. Uh, so today we're going to do Power of Pilates Part 2, which today is going to be legs. Um, we did the Part 1, which was the upper body, and Part 3 we'll be following in a few days' time where we'll focus on a short uh, a Pilates class that will focus on your abs. But today it's legs. So what you'll need today is you'll need your mat, you'll need uh, a chair, and you'll need a cushion or a pillow. You can even use a pillow from your bed, you know. So, so you, those are the three things you'll need. So we're going to start today with quads, and we're going to do some squats. So for your squats, you'll need to stand up, and you'll need to spend a few uh, sort of seconds getting yourself set up, because you need to be positioning your chair in the right place, so that when you do a squat, you can just about... Now, see, I'm too far back, so I need to take a little step back there, because when I come down, I just need to be able to feel the chair under my bottom as I come up. I'm not going to sit, but I'm just going to let my bottom skim the chair as I go up and down. Now, we're going to warm up for your first set of, of, of squats, so we're focusing, to begin with, on the quads. All right, so feet hip-width apart, soft knees, pull up tall, shoulders down and back. Okay, so we're just going to do some half squats, so just some little ones, just to get our quads warmed up. So, ready, go. And you just come down a little bit and push down evenly through your heels as you come up. So keep your knees in line as you go up and down, and back up. And bring it down, and come up. So really push your bottom out there behind you as you go up and down there. And now eight, and the arms come up and bring them down. And seven, knees in line and come up. And six, and bring them up. So not full squats, just little ones, just getting everything working. And five, and bring it up. And four, and bring it up. And three, and come up. And two, up, and one and stay up. Okay, so that's your little warm-up set. Now we're going to do 12 full squats where we just let the bottom skim the chair. So you just feel it under your bottom and then you're going to come back up. So remember, as you're working, check those knees. Don't let them roll in. Don't let them roll out. Keep them nice and in line. Bottom just really pushed back and just skimming that chair. Okay, so 12. Here we go. And 12. Touch the chair and bring it back up. And 11, touch the chair and push evenly through here. And 10, and bring it up. And 9, and up. And 8, push evenly through your heel. And 7, and up. And 6, 5, Okay, so second set. Now, the third set, we're going to come down. We're going to stay down there with the bottom, just skimming the chair, just feeling it. And then we're just going to do 12 little mini pulses, just 12 little movements. So this one is going to feel a little bit more intense. Okay, so what you need to do is we need to get down there. So ready? Get yourself down there. Come down. Bottom just feeling the chair. Where is it? There it is. Okay, so there you are. I've got my arms out, bottom out there, back straight, and we're just going to do 12 little pulses. So ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and up. Good. Okay, so just as you're doing, I know I'm a bit paranoid about knees because I've got bad knees, but so just make sure those knees stay in line. Don't let them roll in or roll out. Now, the next and the last one, and we're going to repeat this as well, but the next one is going to be a hold. So you're going to get down there. It's going to hold that there for a count of 12. Okay? So, ready and go. Get yourself down there. Just feeling the chair. Okay, now, hold it there for 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, 
two, one, and up. Good. Okay, now we're going to repeat that cycle, not the little half squats because that was just a warm up. We're going to go back to the uh, 12 full squats where the uh, bottom just skins the chair and back up again. All right, so get yourself ready to go again. Ready, go. Inhale as you come down and just touch the chair and exhale, push evenly through your heels to come up. Inhale as you come down nice and easy and exhale, push it up. Inhale as you come down, exhale, push it up. Inhale, knees in line as you come up and down. Exhale, push it up. So now you have eight. Eight, and bring it up. And now, seven, and bring it up. And now, six, and push it up. And now, five, and push it up. And now, four, and push it up. And now, three, almost there, just two left and two, bring it up, and now the last one, and bring it up. Okay, so next come those 12 little ones, those 12 nasty little ones that get really, really quite intense as you work. Ready, okay, so let's do it. So now bring your bottom down, just skimming the chair there, abdominals pulled in a little bit, back straight. Okay, ready, go, 12, 11, 10, Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hand up. And we are almost there. We've got one more set, and that's just the hold, actually. So you're going to get down and hold for 12. Okay. Ready? And go. Bring it down. Bottom back. Hold there. And now we're going to hold it here for 12. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and bring it up. Okay, so that is our quads. Okay, now we're going to stretch out the quads now. So having placed the chair in front of you, just have, stand behind your chair and just let your fingertips rest on the top of the chair. You don't want to rely on them too much, but just let them rest there. Okay, so you stand with your feet hip-width apart. Now shift your weight into your right leg. So all your weight's going down that right leg and the knee is soft. Now reach back, pick your left heel up by your bottom, hold on to that foot, bring your knees together and now press your hips and your pelvis forward. So you're pushing forward there and feeling that stretch going right up the front of that thigh through the quads there. Hips and pelvis pressing forwards. The pelvis is sort of tilted forwards and up a little bit to also get into the hip flexors that little bit more. And then, of course, the most important thing when you're stretching is to focus on your breathing again. So nice deep breaths in and exhale. Press into the stretch and rest. And just a couple more. And again, release into it. And one more time. Okay, and let that foot come down. Now, feet hip width apart. Shift into your left leg. Soft left knee. All your weight's going down that left leg. And then pick your right heel up by your bottom. Hold on to that foot. Bring your knees together. Once your knees are together, press your hips and pelvis out there in front of you. And hold there. Once you've got that stretch working, just breathe into it. Nice deep breaths in through your nose. And release into that exhale. So the pelvis is tilted forwards. Get a beautiful stretch working in there. And one more. Okay, and then bring your foot down. So next we are going to get into uh, our calves. So we're going to do some calf raises here. Right, so um, to start with, we're going to start with 12 nice steady calf raises. So what you're going to be doing, don't do this yet, but you're going to be coming up onto the tips of your toes as high as you can and then bringing your heels down and when your heels come down just lift your toes up off the mat. So you're rocking forwards into your front of your feet, you're lifting and then you're bringing your heels and you're rocking back into your heels and the toes are coming up. So you're coming up with that squeeze of the calf and then 
down and the heels come up and you're getting into your shins as well a little bit that way as well. Okay, so that's what we're going to start with and we're going to do 12 nice steady ones to begin with. So fingertips resting lightly, get your posture set. Okay, ready, go. Come all the way up onto the tips of your toes as high as you can and then bring your heels down and rock back so that the fronts of your feet come up. And then come up, press all the way up, bring your heels down and the toes come up. Lean forwards, come up, bring the heels down, lean back, toes come up. And again, all the way up and bring them down. So now we have eight more and we have eight. Down and rock back. And seven. And down. And six. And down. And five. And down. And four. Lean back, the toes come up off the mat. And three. Bring it down. And two. Bring it down. And now this one, stay up there. Okay, now um, we're going to do two sets of 12 little, sort of almost little ones, but your, your, your heels are just going to skim the mat. So it's going to sort of look like this. You've got a bit of more of an explosive lift up onto the toes. All right, so stay up there. I'm just going to let your heels skim the mat. This is going to feel a lot more intense, everybody. Okay, so are you ready? Ready, go. And one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and down. Oh yes, just let your legs kick your legs out just to release them a bit because it always feels really quite intense there. So we're going to go into another set of those. So feet hip width apart. Now come all the way up as high as you can on the tips of your toes and another twelve little bounces. So ready, go, and one, two, three. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and down. And again, just let them kick your legs out a little bit. Just let them go. Now we have one more here. And again, this is going to be quite intense, but those calves are nicely warmed up, so they should be able to handle it. Now, feet tip with the part, shift your weight into your right leg, and then pick your left heel up behind you. So now we're going to do a one legged uh, calf raise. Okay, so now come up onto the tips of your toes. So eight on each side, but slow and steady ones. So heel down, push all the way up. The heel comes down, push all the way up. The heel comes down, push all the way up. The heel comes down, push all the way up. And four, and up onto the tips of your toes. And three, and push it all the way up. And two, push it all the way up. One, push it all the way up and then bring your heel down and bring your other foot down there. Okay, now we are going to do the left. So now shift your weight into your left leg, soft knee, uh, and now we're going to come up onto the front of that left foot, up onto the toes. So do that now, lift it up and then pick your right heel up behind you there too. Okay, get your balance. Eight here, so ready, go. Let your, eight, your, your heel come down and push it up. And now seven and push it up high. And six, push it up as high as you can. And five, push it up. And four, and push it up. And three, and push it up. And two, push it up. And one, push it up. And bring your foot down. Okay, so that is the calf muscles uh, in, in terms of, of the strengthening. Or now we need, we do need to stretch them out. So hopefully you have enough room behind you to take a big step back. So you can hold on to your chair, but take a big step back with your right foot, and then bring your heel down to the mat. Now I prefer to bring my hands down to the mat for this. Okay, so hands down, heel back, um, and your chest in, is leaning forwards. Now, you want to press your heel into the mat. So you need to adjust the length of the stride back there. So you can just about get that left heel flat on the mat. Now, to extend it at this stretch a little bit, pick your right heel up by bending your right knee, slide the foot back by about a couple centimeters or so. <coughs> 
excuse me, and then push your heel down into that mat and your body weight sort of leaning forwards, but that heel is pressing down that stretch going right up the back of that calf muscle nicely. One more time, pick your heel up by bending your knee, slide the foot back a couple more centimeters, press the heel down flat to the mat. Breathe into it. Okay, now I'm just gonna bring my hands onto my chair, so I can bump my head on the chair, and then step forward. Okay, now we're gonna step back with the left. So nice, big, long stride back there. Adjust the length of that stride back so you can just about get your left heel down. Bring your hands down to your mat. Okay, and press that left heel down into that mat. Breathe into it and release. Okay, now pick that left heel up by bending the left knee. Slide the foot back a couple centimeters. Press the heel down into the mat. Breathe into it. And again, pick the heel up by bending your knee, slide the foot back and press the heel down into that mat. And again, just release into that stretch. Okay, we're gonna stand up again. So I'm just gonna bring my hands to my chair and I'm gonna step the foot forward and stand up. Okay, so next we're gonna get started on hamstrings. Now for your hamstrings, uh, you have the option of using a chair to help you or not. I'll explain in a second. So uh, if you're going to use a chair, then you need, hopefully, you will have a chair that has a little rung underneath it there, because that's the bit I'm going to be using. Now, if you want to make it easier, you, you don't use the chair. But otherwise, have your chair placed like that. Then what you'll need to do is get yourself down, and then lie down and place your feet on the rung. So I've got the rung under the arch of my feet there and it feels quite comfortable there. And it's on the mat and that's sort of to stop it, the chair sliding around too much. Then get yourself lying down comfortably um, and arms down by your sides, palms facing down. So to get to our glutes today, we're going to do a shoulder bridge series, which will get to glutes and hamstrings, I should say, glutes and both. Okay, so we're going to start off nice and easy, and we're gonna get up in, just to warm this up, we're gonna get up into some, all the way up and all the way down, okay? So, here it goes. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, pull your abdominals in, tilt your pelvis forward, and lift all the way up till you're in a straight line from your knees to your shoulders. And then inhale, bring your spine down carefully down to the mat as you come down. And exhale, tilt your pelvis forward and lift all the way up. And inhale as you come back down. And exhale, tilt your pelvis all the way forwards and lift up and hold. Inhale as you bring it all the way down. And exhale, tilt your pelvis forward and lift all the way up. Inhale as you come all the way down. And exhale, press your heels down into the floor or into that chair as you come up and down. And again, all the way up and bring it back down. Tilt the pelvis forward, the glutes and hamstrings now are doing all the work. And bring them down. So I think we have three left, but as you know, counting has never been my forte here. Sometimes I give you more, sometimes I give you less. Here we go. And I think there is one more left that should, in theory, make 12. Okay, and here it is, all the way up. And all the way down. Okay, now the next one, we're gonna get up there and we're gonna hold it there for a count of 12. All right, so you're just gonna keep that position for 12. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, tilt your pelvis forward and lift all the way up and now hold it there. So here, um, make sure that you're not uh, really pressing into your legs too much. Let the glutes and hamstrings do the work here. Hold yourself up there for, I think we're probably about, about 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, okay, now carefully lower your spine back down to the mat. One vertebra at a time, don't come down too suddenly. Bring it down gently, 
and when your bottom is down on the mat, just rest it there. Okay, now we're going to do 12 singles again. Okay, so inhale to prepare, exhale, pull in, tilt your pelvis forward and lift all the way up. And inhale as you bring your spine back down to the mat. And exhale, tilt your pelvis forward and lift. Inhale as you bring it down. Exhale, tilt the pelvis forward first. Hips and bottom come all the way up. And bring it down on the inhale. And exhale, tilt your pelvis forward and lift. Inhale as you come back down. And eight and bring it down and seven and bring it down and six lower your spine down carefully one vertebra at a time and five and bring it down and four and three and lower yourself down and two bring it down and one and bring it down okay so now we have another hold and then this little section is over. Okay, so we're gonna get back up there and we're gonna hold it there. Just really focus on making sure it's the glutes and hamstrings that are holding you up there. And you're not really pushing with your legs to hold yourself up there. You shouldn't feel too much pressure going into your head and your neck when you're up in that position. If you feel loads of pressure pushing into your head and neck, it means you're using the quads and really pushing your legs into the mat, into the chair or the mat to hold yourself up. Okay, so we're gonna do a hold. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, tilt the pelvis forward, start lifting your spine up. And now, once you've reached your nice straight line, hold there for 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. A good old burn working in there. And now, just gently lower your spine back down to the mat, one vertebra at a time and rest it there now if you haven't got a chair and you're just using your feet on the mat then stay the way you are um, if you are um, you, if you do have the chair i'm going to move it out of the way um, just so i can get into my hamstrings a little bit better and the glutes to stretch them out without that chair there i'm going to put the chair aside now we're going to stretch out the glutes and hams so come back down to the mat if you come up okay now uh, feet hip width apart, flat on the mat, arms down by your sides. Keep your left foot down on the mat, stretch your right leg straight up to the ceiling. Hold on to the back of your thigh there, fingertips clasped together there behind your thigh, just to begin with anyway. Inhale to prepare, and as you exhale, pull that straight leg in towards your chest. Now you can keep that knee soft, you can bend it as much as you like. If it's really tight behind your knee, bend that knee until that goes away. So you're pulling that leg in. If you're more comfortable holding on to your calf, then reach up there. I prefer holding on there and you're just pulling that leg in towards your chest and you're pressing your bottom down towards the mat and getting a lovely stretch going up the back of that leg through the hamstrings there okay now stay the way you are take another deep breath in and as you exhale bring that leg in towards your chest that little bit more keep the bottom pressing down Okay, so keep your leg up there, clasp your hands together behind your right thigh, let your bottom come down to the mat, leg vertical, circle your right foot around, big circles, draw big circles with your big toe, the whole foot's moving, all the foot muscles are working, you'll feel it in your shins, you'll feel it in your calves, but your leg is still, it's just the foot doing the work here, oh by the way, you're circling the other way now okay so draw those circles the other way just keep them moving okay and then place that right foot across your left knee lift oh, you so either here you can either take your right hand and press your right knee away from you or lift your left foot up reach through hold on to the back of that left thigh adjust it until you're getting the right level of stretch so remember here when you're doing this one 
you can you can thread a hand towel through the middle and help yourself that way so you're holding that leg up with your towel that's if you want to keep it easier or you can clasp your fingertips together now it might be just the tips of your fingers behind that thigh that are holding you in it or it might be that you want to clasp your hands together and pull in a little bit tighter so you're just adjusting that stretch really until it's feeling just right stretching out the glutes and hip muscles on this side okay and then bring it down now we're gonna do hamstring stretch on the left so right foot stays down stretch the left leg up hold on to the back of that thigh inhale exhale pull it in if you want to reach up and hold on to your calf do that now and breathe into that there I like to just pull that leg in a little bit, a tiny bit on each exhale, but you don't have to. You can just stay in the same place. Okay, pause there, another deep breath in. As you exhale, bring it in a little bit closer. Okay, keep the bottom pressing down. Release into that exhale. Okay, and now release it. Clasp your hands together, together behind your left thigh. Lower back is down flat on the mat. Your leg is just resting against your hands. And now circle the left foot round. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That'll do. And now circle the other way. Eight, seven, six. One. And now place the left foot across, either press the left knee away from you, or pick that right foot up with your towel through the middle. I haven't got one handy, otherwise I'd show you. Or clasp your hands together behind your leg there, and adjust that stretch. So then, once you're in the stretch, breathe into it. Release the tension from your legs, so make sure you're not tense and tight through your legs. Your legs are relaxed because your hands are holding you stretch so they don't really have to do anything <sighs> release into it so the tighter you pull that knee in the more intense it'll get and also you can also experiment and play around with pressing your left elbow out into that left thigh pushing that left knee out wider to the side which will also intensify things through those glutes and hip muscles there good Okay, and now bring your feet down to the mat. Now the last little group of exercises we're going to do today is gonna to focus on the inner thighs. So uh, those of you who do my classes regularly, we normally do this with a fit ball, right? So we put that between our legs and we squeeze. Now I'm just assuming you don't have a fit ball. Hopefully in time, as this uh, lockdown goes on, you might order yourselves one in the house because they are useful and I'd really love to teach a fit ball class. Um, so yes, uh, Hopefully you'll get that. But in the time, for the time being, use a pillow or a cushion. So I'm going to just get up, get my cushion. There it is. Here it is. So for this, if you want your cushion, lie down just the way you were for your shoulder bridge. Now um, I'm going to bend my cushion into half. If you've got a pillow, roll it up and then place it between your knees there and your thighs there, so it's between your legs. Okay, you might need to bring your feet a little bit closer together. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna, with the, the pillow there, we're gonna lift up into that shoulder bridge position there again, and then we're gonna squeeze and release, and squeeze and release, okay? So get yourself ready. Arms down by your sides. Feet hip width apart, or maybe slightly closer together. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, pull in, tilt your pelvis forward, lift yourself up to that bridge position there. So straight line that diagonal from your knees, going down to your shoulders. Glutes and hamstrings are working again, holding you up there. So they may be a bit tired, but keep with it if you can, all right? So we're gonna squeeze, release. You're gonna squeeze your thighs and your knees together against that cushion. Okay, ready, inhale to prepare. Exhale, squeeze it together, inhale, release. Exhale, squeeze, inhale, release. Exhale, squeeze, 
inhale, release. Exhale, just squeeze, inhale, release. Now I'm also squeezing my pelvic floor in because I'm just used to doing that with this. You don't have to, but it's a good opportunity to get those muscles working too. Exhale, squeeze, inhale, release. One more, exhale, squeeze, release. Now gently bring your spine back down. One vertebra at a time until you're down. Have a little break there. Okay, so that is our first set of uh, four. So we've got three sets left. We're gonna get right back up there and again, just squeeze that, that, that cushion, that pillow. All right, let's do it. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, tilt your pelvis forward, lift yourself up. Hold it there, ready, inhale. And exhale, squeeze your pelvic floor and squeeze the cushion. Inhale, release. So really squeeze it and release. And squeeze and release. And squeeze and release. It really works, actually. I can really feel it with this pillow. I wasn't sure, but it is working. And three, bring them apart. And two, bring them apart. And one, bring them apart. Now gently roll your spine back down to the mat one vertebra at a time. Rest it there. Oh yes, I'm definitely feeling this. So we've got two more sets of eight left. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, pull in, tilt your pelvis forward and lift yourself back up to that full stretch. Hold it out there. Okay, ready, inhale. Exhale, squeeze, inhale, release. And exhale, squeeze it, inhale, release. And exhale, squeeze it, inhale, release. And exhale, squeeze those knees together and out. And four, release. And three, release. And two, release. And one, release. And now carefully bring your spine back down. We are almost there. We just have one more set. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm pleased we've only got one more set. The end is in sight. Here we go. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, tilt your pelvis forward and bring it up. Hold it there again. Ready, inhale, exhale, squeeze, inhale, release. And exhale, squeeze it, inhale, release. And exhale, squeeze it, inhale, release. And exhale, squeeze it, inhale, release. Four left, and four, and bring your knees open a little bit. And three, bring your knees open a little bit. And two, bring them open a little bit. And the very last one, yes. And bring your spine down carefully, ha, ha, ha. We're done. Okay, so get rid of your pillow. We're gonna stretch out the inner thighs now uh, again. So we're gonna do this sitting up. So either rock yourself up to sitting or push yourself up. Good, okay, then sit on your mat and bring the soles of your feet together and just ha one hand either side on each ankle. Okay, and then pull your knees, your knees, your heels, pull your heels in a little bit closer and then sit up nice and straight and just let your elbows rest against your inner thighs there. And what you're going to be doing is you're going to be pressing your elbows down into your legs. So you're pushing your knees down towards the floor. Now, some of you will be really flexible at this. Some of you will not. I'm not super flexible here, but um, you'll see how this works. So sit up tall, inhale to prepare and exhale, press your elbows down and just help those knees down towards the floor. Now, the higher up you bring your elbows onto your knees, the more you can work with this. The, if you need to place more pressure, bring your knees up, your elbows up higher by your knees. If you wanna keep it easier, you, you keep them lower down. So up there, press down, and then of course here, we just need to relax again into it. So I like to take those big deep breaths in, and as I exhale, I press. And I'm breathing. Have a few breaths and then I'm going to go again. A nice big deep breath in first. And as I exhale, I press down a little bit more and release into that again. So one last stretch before we get up. So for this one, just get yourself into the box position, on your mat, hands under shoulders, knees under hips, flat back, face looking down. So we're just gonna finish with four beautiful cat stretches, cat to cow, 
or cat to flat back up to you. Inhale. As you exhale, tilt your pelvis forward, bring your chin to your chest and push your shoulders and spine up to the ceiling. Make as tall an arch as you can and inhale, bring it flat. Stay there or continue it on up into the cow. And exhale, tilt your pelvis forward, chin to chest, arch up tall. And inhale, bring it flat or continue it on up. And exhale, up into that cat arch up. Inhale, bring it back. And one more time, exhale, tilt your pelvis forward, chin to chest, arch up tall, bring it flat, continue it on up, into the cow. Okay, now to stand up, let's use this as an opportunity to do a final stretch. Tuck your toes under, feet hip width apart, inhale to prepare, exhale, lift your bottom up to the ceiling as high as it will go. Press your heels down into the mat, bring your chest back, look through your legs, Lovely stretch going up the back of your legs and up into your glutes too here just before we stand up. Breathe into it. Okay, now before we stand up, soften your knees a little bit. Now start walking your hands back towards your feet and when they're close to your feet, pause there. Inhale to prepare. And exhale, pull your abdominals in nice and tight as you stack one vertebra on top of the other until you're straight. Release your shoulders. So well done, everybody. That was our leg workout. Here's Chewy, everybody. This is the, he's the star. He's the star of the show. This is Chew. He's, he's gorgeous. We'll try and include him as much as we can. Um, so yes, well done, everybody. This, that was the legs. So coming up very soon will be a short workout for your abs. That will be in a, in a couple of days. Bye.